Hey guys, it's Mark with Hallmark Pool Supplies. In this video, I'd like to show you guys how we change the light bulb in your above ground swimming pool. And what I have before me is the Aqua Illuminator made by Pentair. It's the most common light in the above ground world. And it's actually quite simple to change the bulb. We don't have to lower the water in the pool. And I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. But before we get started, I wanna let you guys know that I do have all the parts, the bulbs to include the light itself on our website, Hallmark Pool Supplies. And I will post links down below for those of you that want to check it out. So the first thing we want to do uh, before we get started is make sure that we have the power turned off. So we definitely want to turn off the power before changing the light. And it's actually quite simple. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the cap and we just basically have to lift up and kind of twist. And then you'll see some wires here and we're going to disconnect these wires. And for future reference, it does not matter which wire goes where, we can switch them. Uh, that's all the same. Um, but what I have here on the Aqua Illuminator light is a light return combination. We have the water coming up through here, uh, the electric comes in through the back, and then of course the water comes out and this is your light. So this light can be installed in pretty much any above ground pool. Uh, if you guys don't have a light and want to get one, you can definitely do it. They're quite simple to install, but there's been a lot of questions in regards to this light. Is it safe? Because we, we all know water and electricity do not mix. Yes, absolutely. These lights are safe. I've been selling them for many, many years. So the first thing we're going to do after we uh, turn off the power and disconnect the cap is there is a lock ring here. And all we want to do is unscrew this lock ring. When we unscrew this lock ring, can actually set that to the side and we will then pull the light out and in the front it is basically pertaining to this whole piece here which will come out and when we do so we want to put our hand here so this way we don't lose any water and now that I've got that uh, sealed with my hand temporarily what we're going to do is we come over here to the light and this piece comes out and then this is the actual light as you see it and it is sealed um, and they do seal it here very well. In the light kits, they do give you a red cap and the red cap is designed to, to plug this so you can keep the wires dry when we make that switch. But as you can see here on a lot of these lights, they fill these in so high that you, you can't get the plug in there. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how we just put it in. And if the wires get a little wet, it's okay. Water will not get through here because this light is sealed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the new light. So now we have the new bulb here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the light and we're gonna put it in through our collar. Keep in mind, I've got this plugged temporarily so we don't lose water in the pool or get wet. We're gonna take this, we're gonna push this in and then this just pushes in. And then we're gonna take our lock ring and we're gonna take our lock ring and tighten it up. Now this lock ring only needs to be hand tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it hand tight, get it good and snug. And we wanna be able to rotate the front of the light as you see here, but not move this. So that's very important. This way we know we've got it tight enough that it's not gonna leak, but not so tight that we can't adjust our light when we get ready to set the light in place. So at this point in time, since we did not use the cap because this was filled in kind of high, we will make sure that these wires are good and dry. And if you have to let them dry for a few minutes, that's fine. But whatever you do, do not connect it up wet and definitely don't turn the light on if it's wet. You wanna make sure this is good and dry. So if it's good and dry, then we'll be able to come back. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be able to plug this in. It does not matter which wire goes where. It'll work just the same. We plug that in, make sure she's good and tight. Then we can push our wires into our cap. And then this cap actually will snap back on and lock into place. And now we're good. And then at this point in time, I like to test everything. We would be able to turn the light on and make sure that the light works. Um, and then we're good to go. What you don't want to do is turn this light on outside of the water. You want to make sure that you do have it installed and that it is underwater. So when you turn this on, we don't blow the bulb. It's actually quite simple. And there you have it. 
So I hope you guys found this video to be informative. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to contact me or comment down below. I will be glad to help. As I said before, I do have parts to include the light itself on our website, which I have posted links in the description below. I wanna take this time to thank all uh, my subscribers and everybody else that watched this video. And if you guys have not subscribed, definitely do so for future content. I do appreciate you guys watching. My name is Mark and I'll see you guys on the next video.